Hi guys, Daniel here and welcome back to another one of my tech how-to videos and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can enable the Alexa service on your TV. This is the, uh, it's on a, it's on a Hisense TV, this TV is a couple of years old. Um, you will need a smart TV for a start and you may need to update the firmware on your existing TV if you don't have the options that I show you later on the video but I'll show you how to update the firmware first so everything's up to date as it should be. Um, the Alexa service will let you control your smart home if you've got smart bulbs etc, access news, weather, a whole a whole host of things that allow you to do voice search on the TV for films and music. I'm sure once you've got it set up you'll, you'll discover a lot more. So let's get into this, don't delay. So the, you need to get into the settings of the TV for a start and this is this button here, the square with the three lines. That's the quick menu that comes up, that won't be what we want. So go to settings. The first thing you need, you'll need is your TV will be need, need to be connected to your wireless or wired network. That's the first thing you need to do. Second thing you need to do is go down to support, system update. Your TV may have slightly different menu, a menu look to this, but it, it's pretty much the same thing. Go down to system update. I would recommend enabling this, although you don't have to. Automatic updates saves you time, keeps your TV up to date with um, fixes bugs and adds more features. Uh, go and check firmware upgrade. So this will check on the internet for, for new firmware. It's currently on the best version. Great. So the next step to this is now we've got our TV on the network. We've made sure it's got the latest update. We go to the system section. And we go down to voice service. There's two voice services here. We're going to be looking at the Amazon Alexa, but there is also Google Smart Home service as well, depending on what your needs are. So we select the Alexa one. And all we need to do is enable it. So we turn on setup now. So what this will ask you to do is this will ask you to sign into your you'll need to create an account, a Vida account for Hisense. It says Vida account provides all the best features of your smart TVs and ensures all services are always updated. So create a service, create an account with that first. Once you've created an account with that, that section will probably move on to this, but if it doesn't, you go onto this one here, Amazon Alexa service setup. So you then select your Amazon account, you sign in with it basically. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. And once it's set up, you can access your smart home stuff, play movies, uh, music, photos via voice. I hope that helps anybody looking to set up the service. Um, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. Thanks.